uh, the gold parts we can knock back to 1k and the trim we can knock back to probably 512 that should be plenty and because it's uh, algorithmic substance we can easily come back and change them if we want to the good thing about substance painter is the ability to be able to do that really easily and quickly interior furniture chair one and select and export and thank you for the follow eco as well i thank you very much for following the channel now just as a reminder guys do remember if you want to join the phil does 3d discord server so you can post um links and things because you can't do that in twitch chat unless you're um a sub uh just type exclamation discord in twitch chat and it'll give you an invite link to the discord server there is a Phil Does 3D Twitch server as well. If you use the Twitch desktop app, just type exclamation server and that'll give you an invite link for that. So let's jump back into Unreal. Again, I'm just gonna give it a minute. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> We've got so much going on in the background here. Unreal's getting a bit confused, I think. Uh, where are we? Okay. Let's um, bring in that uh, chair we just created. I'm just going to move these uh, textures. I'm going to delete this one actually. We don't need it. Uh, pop these others in their own folders here so I can get everything nice and organized and I don't get confused. Alrighty, well, let's import the chair. The Hambone, hey, how are you? How's things? I really want to get this uh, end of the room done today. Like I've been saying to you guys, I, 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 <laughs> I'm trying to get it done by, before I go and break for Christmas, which is, means we've only got six streams after today. I do two streams a week on a Monday and a Tuesday US time. Okay, let's um, start by bringing in the cherry wood for this chair. Metallic, normal and roughness. Not bad, that's good to hear. Uh, again, I just to get all of my textures here in a nice row so it doesn't confuse me and I can hook them up more quickly. Uh, it did muck me up. That's the roughness one. That's the metallic one. Metallic. Uh, normal. And uh, roughness, apply. And save. Uh, the next one, the chair cushion, let's bring that one in. So we want the color, the metallic, the normal and the roughness. Sorry, Hambone's asking what my plans are after Christmas for the stream. Um, well, like I said, I, I take Christmas and New Year off. Also, I'm back in January, beginning of January. Um, <laughs> if we get this project done before I go on break, then my plans are to start a new project. 
uh, if not, then it will be finishing off the um, finishing off the cinematic for this project. But hopefully, if we can get this done before I go on break, so in the next six streams, uh, when when I come back, we'll be working on a new 3D model that I'm going to be putting online for sale in my store. And as, as to what that will be, uh, I don't know. I haven't worked that out yet. I've got to think about it over Christmas, I guess, work out what I actually want to make for the new model. Uh, AWM. Hi, what time is it? What do you mean? I don't understand the question, AWM. What time? What, what, what do you mean? My streams are every Monday and Tuesday, 5 p.m. Pacific time in the U.S. That's when I stream. Uh, generally Wednesdays, but just not at the moment. Hammer time. <laughs> there you go, Smith. Barry says it's hammer time. I think we've only got, uh, well, we've got a couple more. We've got the chair gold. Color, metallic, normal, roughness. In my country, oh, I'm in Australia, so at the moment it is going to, it's 1.30 here in the afternoon. Um, yep, 1.30 in the afternoon in Australia on on a uh, uh, on a Wednesday, but I don't like to say that because it confuses you guys because I tell you I stream on Monday, Tuesday, so <laughs> your English is fine, AWM, yep, no, it's about 1.30 in the afternoon here. And I think it's going on for about uh, 7.30, I think, uh, in the US, Pacific time. But 1.30 here in the afternoon. Uh, yeah, Hambone says, well, 1.30 p.m. It's uh, 9.30 p.m. here in Kentucky, yeah. I work on US times. I don't generally tell you guys what time it is for me because I just end up confusing you all. Uh, but yeah, it's 1.30 in the afternoon here for me. Um, but I tell you, I, I stream in US time, so 5 p.m. US. So. Color, metallic, normal, and roughness. AWM says it's 5 a.m. in Saudi Arabia. Wow. You're up early or, or going to bed late, whichever one it is, uh, AWM. Yeah, look, I, I know, but for you, uh, Sniper Echo, when he watches my stream, he's um, in Ireland, I think, and his, for him it must be like three in the morning. So everybody's at all different time zones here on Twitch. But I generally work my schedule based on um, US time, and I start my stream at 5 p.m. US Pacific time because that's um, more convenient for US viewers. So yeah, I work on US time. <laughs> but it does get very confusing. But again, look in, if you look in the, the panels below my stream here on my Twitch page, it gives you a countdown to what time I stream in your time zone. So you'll know exactly what time it is for you. Uh, let's bring this chair in now. We've done all this texturing and UV mapping and all the rest of it, if I can find it. <laughs> there it is. Okay, just going to rotate it around. I really should have reset the um, pivot on it, but it's okay. It is a bit small though, so let's scale it up. Move it down. It's still a bit small. <laughs> I could have scale it up even more. I really, really, really should reset this pivot. This is uh, not great. You know, I think I may do that. I just hate having a pivot not in the right spot. It drives me nuts. So I'm just going to reset it, place it down towards the feet though, so it's easier for me to move around. And just make sure that the um, X form is reset on it, do a collapse. Just re-export it. Mm 
re-import it back into Unreal. Uh, the Hambone says, and still Tuesday, you're a time traveler. It's actually Wednesday for me here. Uh, I, I stream 5 p.m. Pacific time on a Monday and a Tuesday, that's US. But that's actually a Tuesday and a Wednesday for me because Australia is a, a day ahead of the US. So I don't mention it because it gets really confusing for you guys otherwise. If I just say Monday, Tuesday, you know what I mean. But if I say Monday, Tuesday for you, Tuesday, Wednesday for me, people start getting confused. <laughs> no problem. You have a good night's sleep, AWM. And thanks for popping into chat. Oh. Now I'm just going to make sure I get my size for this chair correct here. Uh, now that we have our pivot in the right spot, it's much easier for me to move around. And again, I think size-wise it's probably okay. The cushion should come to about the top of the table here. I'm just going to move back here and look at it from a distance. It'll give me a better idea as to whether it's too big or too small. Yeah. And again, comparing it to the um, urn here, I think I think it's probably okay. Let's duplicate it so we've got another chair for the other side. And rotate it around. And then move it. Don't do that. Gonna get my, my positioning correct here for these chairs. Just to put them into an angle here that looks interesting for the room. We might rotate this one around a little bit more. Okay, it's not too bad. Let's put something on the table though, to add, add a bit of interest here and to separate the foreground from the background the same way we did with the um, with that peacock bowl here, just to add a bit of a differentiation between the foreground and the background. I have a uh, bowl, a nice decorative bowl, round bowl that I'm going to bring in, which we'll reuse in other parts of the building as well, this one. makes a bit of a statement here for the table. Uh, again, I'm going to take put it off center. I'm not going to put it right in the middle of the table because off center will make for a more interesting looking um, image. More interesting looking scene, I mean to say. And it's just a decorative sort of um, bowl thing here. Again, I just want to make sure it's actually on the table and not in it. Alrighty, let's bring in a couple of coffee cups because why not? People have been sitting here and they've been having a cup of coffee, so let's do that.
getting it not sitting on this glass here is quite a feat. It's Um, I may scale the cup up just a little bit. I think it's just a tiny bit too small. Let's duplicate it for the other chair as well because no one likes drinking coffee all on their own, so. Alright, let's look at this um, sideboard in the background now. Uh, I think what we'll do here is we'll start by putting a pile of books here on the end. Yeah, well I'm drinking, oh, listen, I, I can talk, I'm drinking it by myself here as well. So yes. <laughs> We can drink coffee by ourselves. It's just alcohol we shouldn't be drinking alone. Isn't that what they say? Don't drink alcohol alone. It's never a good sign. Who are they to say anyway? <laughs> I'm, you're single, feel sorry for you. I'm single too though, don't worry. You're not the only one. I am a... Uh, single. I do share with somebody else, but they're just a friend. Um, but I'm single. And happy, happily single as well, I have to say. Alrighty, we've got a little book pile there on the end. Let's bring in a plant, I think, because why not? Plants always look nice on sideboards. Uh, let's bring in this planter to begin with, this really tiny planter. Not interested in getting married, Hambo? No, I don't blame you, I'm not either. <laughs> I'm happy being single. <laughs> you know, for people that want to get married, that's, not, that's cool. I personally don't want to, though. Know. My work, my work takes me around a bit too much anyway, particularly when I was working in other studios, they used to move me around quite a bit, so it wouldn't have been fair on a partner to actually, um, or, you know, to have their other, their other half being moved around the country all the time. Even the studio I work at now, I have to get, I get sent into state to do work, so it's no fun for the partner if uh, you're just, if you're, you know, in a state for weeks on end. ICMG, good to see you. Uh, don't need to be with someone to find happiness. That is completely correct. And, and in fact, you won't, if you look for happiness in other people, you're never going to find it. Until you're comfortable in yourself and happy in yourself, you're not going to be happy. <laughs> you have to start here, inside, with yourself before you can look, even think about trying to find happiness with someone else. And it's going well, thank you, ICMZ. <laughs> I'm not going to read that out on stream, Hambo. <laughs> You're so rude. Uh, and again, that's because, not because I don't want her or I'm a prude or anything, but all my videos go to YouTube and with the adpocalypse now, YouTube would not like it if I said things like that. We have to be family friendly now on YouTube, you know. Otherwise, they won't let you. They won't let you make any money on your videos. They'll demonetize you. Got to keep those. Um, Got to keep all those advertisers happy. <laughs> Let's put some dirt in our pot. Not that you generally make any money on YouTube anyway. To be honest with you guys, unless your videos are pulling like a million views, you're not really going to make any money on YouTube. says you said demonetize that's exactly right 
Um, look, I, I can see both points of view, you know. I mean, as an advertiser, if you're a, you know, a company like, I don't know, whoever, you don't want to be associated with, with videos that may be promoting something not great. So I can see that point of view. It's just the way that YouTube went about doing it, Google went about doing it, I don't agree with. I don't think it was good. They sort of took everyone by surprise because there are a lot of guys that make their living on YouTube. I don't. My videos don't get viewed enough to make a living on it, but um, there are people that do. And to pull like the rug out from under them, I think was a bit unfair of Google. Uh, Hambone says, my boss at my last job was a famous YouTuber, or sort of, gets around 20,000 views. 20,000 views isn't bad. Yeah, no, you don't. You don't. People don't realize just how little money you get from uh, views on YouTube. You know, and I, I, for example, uh, and it, it will vary depending on the person, but generally it's about, I think you get about $10 per 10,000 views. Now, it could be a little bit more, or a little bit less than that, but that gives you an idea. So, you know, if, if somebody, if your video has 10,000 views, you'll, you'll make about $10 in advertising revenue. So unless your video is into the 100,000 views, you're really not going to be making a good living off of YouTube. Um, and, you know, there are some streamers, some, not streamers, but some YouTubers that do, do get good views. Um, and if they've got a lot of videos up, then that multiplies, you know, but... It's still not easy, and all it takes is YouTube to decide, well, you know, our, our advertisers don't like what you said in your last video, so we're going to demonetize it on you. Uh, and then where, where are you, you've got no recourse, you know? <laughs> you've just got to do what they say. Let's pull this down just a little bit. It might be a bit big. Um, Hambone says it was still very unprofessional of them. YouTube needs a client in order to make money. They have such huge egos, but they could easily lose lots of money if uh, if some YouTubers left. And a lot of YouTubers have, you know. Uh, since the adpocalypse happened, a lot of YouTubers have decided that uh, they've actually gone to Twitch and to Mixer and uh, all those other platforms for streaming. Uh, now, it's not easy to go from being a YouTuber to being a streamer because they're, they're pretty different professions. As a YouTuber, you're alone making your videos, doing a commentary. Uh, as a Twitch streamer, uh, you're generally talking to people in chat. So not every YouTuber can make the switch to a, a Twitch streamer. That and the fact too that it can be hard to, um, to get your audience to follow you from YouTube to Twitch or the other way around. I don't know why that is. People just tend, tend to stick to one platform. The guys like you will watch Twitch and streamers on Twitch, but probably won't watch their YouTube videos. So. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I know a lot, uh, quite a few streamers that, uh, quite a few YouTubers rather that have tried to uh, transition to Twitch because of the apocalypse. Uh, Hambone says, pro, pro streamer seems exhausting. <laughs> I can't have a good personality all day long. No, that's exactly right. You can't. And it, the, those streamers that put on an act for you, uh, look, I, I'm not up on a lot of streamers. There's a few, a couple of uh, Twitch streamers that I watch, but they're generally the more mild, quiet ones, like Dan's Gaming, people like him. But you've got those streamers that like to yell and be very hyper and energetic on their stream. And that, that's, 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 that's a persona. And putting that persona on, I don't know, six, eight hours a day is exhausting. I don't know how they do it. I couldn't do it. <laughs> I wouldn't want to do it. Uh, so you, you're right, Hambone. You can't have that sort of personality all day long. It's just it's, it's exhausting. Uh, Bohat says, um, honestly, I disagree about the part that YouTube will lose money. If YouTubers leave, people will simply watch uh, someone else. Well, you could be right. There's a lot of people on YouTube, so there's... I forget what the statistic was for how much video is uploaded to YouTube every hour, but it's it's a massive amount of video. So there's always something for people to watch, that's for sure. Um, yeah, so that's true. I don't know how much of an impact that they'd have doing a protest and leaving YouTube either, really. 
And I've noticed the ones that are professional YouTubers uh, that do, do try and make a living from it have toned their videos down quite a bit. So they don't swear as much as they used to. And, and, and that's all because they want the advertisers to, they don't want to get their advertising pulled. They want to be able to monetize their videos. So they're going to be family friendly. Uh, Bohat says there will always be someone to create content even if they get uh, pennies for their work. Oh, well, that's, that's true. They will. There, there will. There will always be people that will want to make content for YouTube, want to want to put their face on camera or want to do a Let's Play or, or whatever and put it up on YouTube. Uh, I, I, I see MZ says uh, they have a DD. I don't know. What do you mean a DD? What's a DD? Am I not up on the lingo? Am I showing my uh, my age here? <laughs> I don't know what a DD is. Um, Eighty percent of it though is stuff no one watches. The handbone says, "Well, that's 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 true as well. It is. There's a lot of crap on YouTube. It really is. You get some twelve-year-old that thinks that they're that they you know people want to listen to them do a review of I don't know some game. Let's say, um, and their audio is really bad and you can barely hear them or." I don't know, the video is really low res or, or whatever. Yeah. Good on them for trying, but yeah. <laughs> if not more, yeah, no, I agree, Handband. There's a lot of crap. There really is. Attention Deficit Disorder. Oh, okay. ADD. I, I missed the A there, ICMZ. My apologies. ADD, yep. Yeah. yeah, that's exactly right. Attention Deficit Disorder. Uh. The handbone says, uh, I think you just described my videos. <laughs> I didn't know you had videos on YouTube. I'll have to check them out now, handbone. Are you, are, is your username handbone on YouTube as well? You're going to tell me? I want to check out some of, some of your videos. I won't if you don't want me to. But I, I generally like watching... Uh, supporting other people like streamers and stuff I, I do that quite a bit watch other streamers smaller streamers because if we don't watch them guys who will <laughs> it's okay if you're you know a Dan's gaming who gets 10,000 viewers when he does his uh, Halloween streams but most people aren't like that on Twitch so anytime we can support someone it's always a good thing Uh, Hamburn says, I, I have a few uh, dev blogs, but I'd rather wait until I make some better quality vids. Yep. Okay, fair enough. Well, you let me know when you, you've got something up online that uh, you think is worthy and I'll check it out. Got to work out what I want on the end of the table here and I really don't know. <laughs> um, what should we put there? Should we put a vase? Should we put some alcohol? What do you think would suit this room for the end of the table? You reckon a vase, just vase and some alcohol, maybe, maybe, because we have all this uh, alcohol here that we can place. I, I am going to use the alcohol upstairs in that main dining room as well. Uh, let's see here. Let's bring in some rum, a tiny bottle of rum, a nice big bottle of rum. A small statue of photo frame. Um, yeah, the, the, a small statue would be cool, but I haven't actually made one yet. And I don't have any photo frames that I've made either. Uh, I do have the horse statue, but we used that on the other side of the room and I want to reuse it at the front of the building. So I don't really want to reuse the horse statue. Um, we've got a lot of vases. We've got some decorative plates as well. Um, the clock I, I want to use at the front of the building, so I don't want to use it back here. I just haven't had the time to make enough uh, bits and pieces to place yet. I don't actually like that alcohol bottle. Um, let's see if a plate would look any good. Let's bring one of these plates in. Whoa, one of these huge plates. Down, 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 down. Up, 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 up. Down, 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 down. Ugh. 
Let me get it into position and then we can work on the size. Oh, I really wish I'd stop doing that. I mean to move the camera and I end up moving the object. think a plate and maybe a couple of little I've got these little decorative things here make it look interesting I'm gonna pull the size of the plate down just a little bit I see him says maybe a small statue yeah but from a uh, hand bone while I'm jumping off I'm going to go do more UE4 tutorials thanks for sure you're quite welcome hand bone um, you have a good weekend I'll be back on Monday next week so yeah you have a great weekend and uh, hopefully I'll see you next week Good luck with those UE4 tutorials. And thanks for stopping by too. Well, let's rotate this around a little bit because I don't like the uh, angle we're looking at there. I want to see more of the decorative part of the urn. And I may just move it over just a touch. Make sure it's not intersecting my plate. And I think that's probably okay. I just want a few bits and pieces there to fill up that table. Uh, now I think what I'll do is I'm going to bring in one of those candelabras here for the corner because this, again this corner is looking a little bit dark. So let's pull in the candle. Oh, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy it from over here because it's scaled correctly and I want to make sure I keep the scale the same. So I'm just going to duplicate this one. I'm not going to take the light because we don't need the light. That was just for those glasses that are sitting on that table. Oh, over there. So let's move you over. Never a great idea to have uh, a candle opera right next to a curtain like this, but hey, just in the real world because of fire. But this isn't the real world, this is our our world, so we can put it where we want. As Bob Ross says, it's your world. Um, let's just turn on real time so I can see what that light looks like in that corner. Yeah, that's fine. All right, uh, now I think we could do with a um, the palm tree, I think. So let's grab one of our palms and duplicate that and bring it down. Pull it back into the wall a bit. Just want to make sure I don't I'm sit sitting in the right spot on the floor, that's all. And I also want to make sure it uh, isn't blocking the passageway too much because our camera will be coming through here. I think that's okay.
let's just template with OBS and go full screen here so we can all get a better view of what we're doing. Jeez, OBS really hates it. I'm just going to set the camera here for a minute so I can look at the room to see if there's any areas that need uh, just a bit... I think a planted down here in this corner could look really interesting. Yeah, I think a potted plant down here will look cool just to help fill up that room a little bit more. Just going to jump out of full screen because yeah, OBS is complaining. So we put a potted plant down here. That would look cool. Uh, let's see what we've got to play with here. Um, indoor plants. Where is my pot? My pot, 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 pot. This one. Again, I just want to make sure I get the size of the pot correct. I'm going to pull in some dirt. And let's find an interesting plant there for there. Um, There we go. Just add a bit of greenery to that little corner there. Just helps to lift it up a bit. And I think we'll call that room done. Uh, we may leave it there for today, guys. Let's do a quick save. I do want to thank you guys very much for hanging out with me and for watching. Um, I will be back on Monday next week at 5 p.m. Pacific time in the United States. Um, I hope you guys have a great weekend. And again, thank you for hanging out and for watching. Um, you see you later too, Smokeberry Barbecue. Thank you for being here. Thank you, thank you all you guys for being here. Yep, great. I'll see you guys next week on Monday, 5 p.m. Pacific. Like I said, my schedule doesn't change. You can keep an eye on my Twitter page at Feldas 3 d if you want a reminder because I always post when I go live to Twitter. Um, but I will be back at 5 p.m. Pacific on Monday next week and we'll continue doing the rest of the furnishing for our building here for the other rooms. Now that we've done the back, we can move, start to move towards the front or move upstairs. Bohat, bye. Yep, you guys have a great weekend. Thanks again for watching and uh, yep, I'll be, I'll be back on Monday next week. See you guys.